Hello, today I just wanted to share how to ali align uh, single individual items uh, within the Flexbox container. So first example I have is uh, how to center one item in Flexbox container. So let's see what we have. Uh, just body, uh, H1, uh, and then we have container, um, and we have the item. So mark up is, this is our container, this is our item. So right now it looks like this, container and now item. So what we can do, uh, we're going to just uh, for demonstration purposes, give our container width and the height. And let's see what happens. Okay, automatically item stretched all the way on the cross axis. And because of the height, uh, but it sticks to the left because the flex direction uh, default is row. That's why it sticks to the left. And so our item if we do uh, also just uh, to center the box itself the container what we can do just uh, give it a margin auto so it will center it on the page okay center on the page and now so our item itself doesn't have any anything besides uh, just a padding of 20 pixel and but let's see what happens if uh, if we add justify content on the container and then we do center so justify content it would be alignment on the main axis which is in our case it's uh, left to right and let's see what's happening okay so our main axis is this one from left to right and align items center okay here we go so that's how you align one item within the container so if you need to put a logo or you have some other use for this but uh, Basically, for design purposes, you can use this technique if you need to align one item within the container, so it works. Okay, and what we have the next one is how do we align uh, like single items on the cross axis? So cross axis is from this is main axis. Cross axis will be top to bottom. So what if we need to align item uh, on a cross axis? Okay, let's do this. For example, we'll just add a few more items here. Let's see it's item. Let's just add more text item and let's do item item so we have three flexbox 
items inside our flexbox container and what we can do uh, first of all the container should have enough space on a cross axis to for the alignment to work so let's just see what's what's happening now so our container is 350 by 350 okay it looks like this okay but um, yeah because right now we have this uh, justify content center and line item center let's just do say if, what if we just remove it like let's just remove justify content and because we're working with the cross axis alignment we're using align items so we removed justify content let's see okay uh, now we have only align items but what if we just uh, remove the widths and we just leave the height as 350 let's see what happens okay the width uh, remove the width the height let's actually make the height uh, maybe like I don't know like 50 viewport height okay so that's what we have and because right now all three they align to center because um, on the container we have align item center but say if we need to move the first item and the last item so how can we do that uh, we can do that by targeting the first item and then targeting the the last item and let's just use uh, first child and last child selectors so we do item let's do first child and on the first child we'll do align self the property called align self this is uh, the property for the individual item alignment so we do say align self flex end and the last child we can do last child and let's just do flex start and let's see what happens okay here's our flex end and here's our flex start that's how you can target individual items on the cross axis um, yeah if you need this for any design decisions or any anything you need uh, in terms of I mean you can find ways how to like say if, if you need um, like this type of alignment in your design then you can use this just to target individual items say here first and the last and middle stays in the center okay 
So this is how we do alignment on the cross axis of individual items and the last one is we can also align single items on main axis using auto margins so um, it turns out auto margins they work same way as before with flexbox uh, say for example when we when we use auto margins just for uh, the, the most uh, um, common technique is to use auto margins if we need to to um, center uh, the block block on the page so we use just a margin and then semicolon and uh, zero auto so top left so we do uh, sorry zero it's gonna be shorthand for top bottom zero and then just uh, to center auto Okay, so auto margins they work the same way with the with the flex box. So let's try this. So we have our container and let's just remove all this stuff. Remove I don't know height we we don't need maybe I don't know let's see so we have margin auto container what's let's see what's happening yeah there's no no width in the container it just stretches there's no need for this margin auto okay so uh, let's do like we have let's keep it like this we have three items but say for example we need to like we want to keep this two items like sticking to the left of the container but we want to shift this last item all the way all the way to to the right of the container so you we want it say for example uh, if we want it to be here how do we do that and we do that by using auto margin on the individual item and let's see oh, what we have here is uh, let's keep it just like this and we just create the separate class just call it just right and uh, just do margin left auto let's see what happens and we can we just add this class here okay so that's how you move individual item to the right if you need to do so and yeah that's that's because yeah the the main the main reason that it does this is because this is the way how auto margin work so um, it will try to soak up all available space in the direction it was set that's why we can center the container like we can when we can when we center container so with margin zero auto so uh, top bottom zero but auto left and right so auto soaks up if our container is like 500 pixels it's here so margin auto uh, on the right will soak up all this space pushing container to this side Ma margin left will soak up all space on here so pushing pushing container to this side so it will the result is we have centered container and the um, auto margins they work same way with uh, flexbox items as you can see okay guys so just wanted to share with you this
today and as always thank you for watching